Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Cool. Today I'm going to be reading for Taurus, my ear sign subscribers. This is for your sun, moon and rising and Venus or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in, you're madly in love with or you just want to know how your Taurus ex is doing, then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is that you don't wish anything negative upon anybody, you only wish good things upon somebody, because karma is a bee and it will end up coming back on you, and then bite you in the booty. Nobody wants that. So let's start with the singing bowl. Let's welcome in that absolutely nice light energy. Remember to reduce your sound just a little bit so it doesn't hurt your ears. I don't know if you can see that, but let me just put that on the floor. Just in case it's in your way, I was trying to do a new whole new setup and it didn't pan out, so I've left it alone. So I'm using the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah. Like, That went off a bit, a bit too early. So we've got the Queen of Wands, we've got the Tower, we've got the Page of Pentacles, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, Clarifying that I put the cards where they wanted them. So the opposite way is it? Look at away from me please as um some of you got stomach issues I literally feel that like I'm really sick and that's not me I'm not sick or anything I know that's an energy wow that was a really really strong energy Right, there we go. So, I see that you've been really, really working hard in your abundance, really knuckling down, building up your pentacles, doing whatever you can to make this sturdy foundation. I, I'm seeing this, and I'm, I'm more focused on this here like I know what she's about, but I'm more focused on the ground, the sturdy ground around her. You've worked really, really hard to get where you are now. It wasn't easy. No. And I feel like you're being rewarded for what you've overcome, the, the cycles that you've overcome. 
because I've got a literally almost almost looks like the same woman. I've got the tower and the wheel of fortune. This is somebody standing in their power. She's looking forward to walking towards this tower to blow everything up to smell the rain. She's like, yeah, come on, let's chuck everything on. Let's blow up that stuff. Let's move on to the next cycle. I'm ready for it. I've been ready for it for a long time. Right? You've been working really, really hard on yourself. And I see that you're standing in this like, um, I, I don't want to say selfish, but in a way I do say selfish and you've got all right to be selfish. Because for so long, Taurus, I see that you've always put everybody else's interests at heart first. And then you, when everybody else has had all their pentacles and when everybody else has had all the things they want, then it's yours you to have yours. You're doing this stop check on your life where you're going towards all the things that you want, building on all the things that you want for your future, for your happiness, following whatever makes you happy. And it's like at the moment I'm seeing that that sickness is going now. Yeah, that those camp cycles are really hard to deal with really really nasty exes really nasty friends being stabbed in the back and being told they're gone now you don't have to deal with them ever again concentrate on you concentrate on this new love coming into your life i've got the king of wands and i haven't just got the king of wands i've got the queen of wands Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This masculine is currently, he, he, he's always been a hard worker. I, always, I, I see that he's always been a hard worker, but recently he's been working extra hard to get his pentacles together. He's been working extra hard to put everything in order to come towards you. Because he's like seeing that you are his wish fulfillment. You are his happily ever after. It's like where he is at the moment, the people that he's around, I don't know. They don't make him happy anymore, I just got told. You make him happy. It's like he'll just be busy in work or He'll be with his friends or family, whoever, um, and he'll think of you. He'll see a picture of you online, he'll see a video, I don't know, of you online, and he won't be able to stop smiling because you make him happy. You're willing to do whatever it takes for you two to come together for this to work out. And that's what he's doing. He's putting those wheels in motion. He's planning his route to come towards you. He's got somebody in his life that he knows he can trust everything with. And he's confiding in them and being like, right, I'm making this move. I'm gonna come towards the love of my life. I can't stop thinking about it. All I want to do is be with her. What do you think? Should I make this move? Should I go here? Should I go here? And they're like, yeah, do it. This person is your biggest supporter. The person they're speaking to dotes on you as much as your love interest dotes on you. And I'm picking up a feminine. Yeah, I'm picking up on a feminine energy. So they've got a feminine, a family feminine men. They have a family feminine in their life that they confide in. 
this person wants a higher level of commitment with you. So if you're friends, they want to take that friendship to a whole nother level. What was I just getting then? They were just going to say something to me then. Are you... Are you going down a whole new journey like in work? Are you planning to like change up your work? I'm seeing like big changes. Like your abundance changing but for the better. It's like where you are now, you're trying to push, 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 push to like work your way up that success ladder. But it's like at the moment you're, you're like, people are stalling around you because they're like, not taking advantage of you, but they know that you're a hard worker and they know that you'll do all the jobs they don't want to do. That's what I'm picking up. Oh, Taurus will do that. Oh, I'll give that to Taurus. Yeah, they'll do that. Yeah, they'll, they'll do that. And you're doing a hundred jobs, even though you're not meant to be doing those hundred jobs. You're only meant to be doing three jobs, but you're doing a hundred jobs, doing other people's jobs. You're you're walking away from that, and you're walking towards a new job, a new career, a new wish fulfillment. I'm seeing that you're not just walking towards somebody new, like as in love. Even if it's reconciliation, you know your story more than I do. But if it's reconciliation, if it's new, I'm seeing that this person is totally different. You're both gonna have to start over again. Really get to know each other. Even if this is somebody from, from your town, somebody that you've grown up with. When you come back together, you're going to realise they're not the person they once was. And you're going to have to both make the time and effort, which you're will I can see you're clearly willing to do, to come together. And it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Your life is very fruitful. And your life will be even more fruitful. when you're together. Look how fruitful that life is. Look how abundant that life is. I can almost see you going up that ladder, you know, rising up and becoming stronger. So it's like when you started, you was the I don't know, the ace of wands, say you were the ace of wands and then you worked on yourself, you worked on your abundance, you worked on your, your self love, your shadow places, you were working, 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 you went into hermit mode, you worked on yourself, you were dealing with all these karmic cycles, you were ending these karmic cycles and you started to level up, level up, level up, level up. You went from the nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. And everybody around you is admiring you. Everybody. Wow. Look at what Taurus has overcome. Oh, I can never do that. Look what she's done. Never did she let anything get the better of it. Wow. I wish I was as strong as Taurus. <laughs> You're inspiring everybody around you. Everybody's watching your glow up. Everybody is watching your journey. Everybody is watching you rise to fame. If you haven't already um, got a very um, abundant job, 
I feel like things are going to very, very quickly change. You're going to have new inspiration, you're going to have new ideas, you're going to walk down a whole new path in work, in love. You're going to be all of a sudden guided towards somebody, even if it is reconciliation. It's like, why am I all of a sudden interested in that person? What the hell? It's like somebody's gone from, yeah, I've got to work this out with this person because of a certain situation. And then you're like, damn. Why didn't I see that person like that? I got the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles is stable, he's reliable, he's grounded. He'll do whatever he can to support his family, to be there for his family, no matter what it takes. This is a very strong man. This is a very, very handsome, sexy man that you're going to feel so protected around. This is building a house and a home. I'll put the picture up here for you. Having children, both working on your abundance, both being there through thick and thin. I feel like you both haven't had reliability in relationships, whether it's family relationships, whether it's love relationships. You're both going to be that in that for each other. Yeah, my nose is going crazy now, so. You're both going to be there for each other. My throat's gone dry again. Oh, the insects went out. Bugger. I'm burning white sage at the moment. It's my favorite smell at the moment. I love it so much. I love it, I love it. I can't get enough of it. Right, leave that burn. For a bit, um, I'm gonna do the White Rose Guidance Divine Love Messages Volume 2. This is at White Rose Guidance. She's on here, White Rose Guidance. She's got a YouTube channel, she does tarot readings. She's one of my favourite YouTubers. Go and check her out. Let her know that Mama Core sent you. Whoa. I want to give you the world. Our love can power galaxies. You two are coming together. I love that smell. Whoa. Whoa. I saw myself in you the first second I laid eyes on you. This is a divine union and I feel like you're going to feel it. I've never cared so deeply for anyone before. It's beautiful. I always hope to have you in my life. And on the bottom, your name is following me everywhere. I could listen to your voice for days. They want me to read that for you. Lovers, oracle messages for my Taurus subscribers, please. Lovers, oracle messages for my Taurus subscribers. I hope you're all doing well. I just want to take a bit of time just to thank you all for your for your love and support on my channel. It truly does mean the world. You've made my channel grow from nothing to something and seeing all your messages, not just on here but on my Instagram. My Instagram is at the Mama Core. Yeah, it's you've shown me so much love and 
yeah appreciation is is just going out to you guys because your love really means the world to me and your support is really does mean everything i wouldn't be able to do all this without you guys and it just i love doing this i really really do and seeing that the messages are are meaning so much to you guys and is helping you it's just it's amazing romance cupid cupid's arrow strikes because it's like there's light being shone on the situation it's like for you you two both didn't realize what this was that you were guided towards each other and it's like all of a sudden somebody's shining a light down on the situation you're like oh that's the love of my life Oh, do you know what? I really felt like I felt something a lot for them, actually. That's quite funny. <laughs> and you're like running towards each other, like, oh my god, I can't fall back anymore. I'm crazy about you. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter into our lives. Let go, and all will work out. Yes, it will. I feel like for most of you, this is reconciliation. But what once was in this relationship with this person, even if you were just like lovers or friends or whatever it was before, you know, this person is coming back into your life for a reason. Whatever separated you has happened. Yes, you can talk about it, but you can't hold this against this person anymore. It's happened. There's nothing you can do about what once was. This only, the only thing you can do something about is what is now. And you both have so much love for each other. So much love. So much understanding. You're wanting to build a stronger foundation. Because you want this person in your future. Right? Imagine all your unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Every now and then, if there's something, something really bothering me, like a situation or a person or whatever, I'll use these methods of cutting the cords between me and that situation or me and that person so I can send the energy back to that person because I don't need to be con being consumed about a situation that I can't do anything about. So it's like I choose to let it go. And I just see that cord dissolving. And then all of a sudden I just feel my energy lifted. It's amazing what you can do. I'll put the cord um, cutting ceremony and stuff. Um, I'll link it down below in the description. Um, it's really done wonders for me. Um, and helped me to move forward and detach from negative people especially. You're not sending negative negativity back you're literally just sending the energy back you're sending that person's energy back so they can feel whole and you're cutting that cord so then you can feel whole it's really really important that you do those things they told me not to read that they went not that one should I get one more I've never had that before. <laughs> that was uh, a bit weird. Beware of what you are protect, projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are the qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Twin flame. Lock it up. 
I'm not going to spend ages here going over the twin flame journey, but um, that's come out three times now during this reading, so. And it would make a lot of sense why you're feeling this pull towards this person and they're feeling the pull towards you. message for Taurus please. Thank you. My wonderful, wonderful spirit guides and angels. Thank you. Crown Chakra, Divine Will, Consciousness, Beyond Sound, number three. Divine will, as I align with my will, with the divine will, as I align my will with the divine will, allowing wisdom from the higher realms to support and guide my evolution on this earth. I grow when I settle into the services of myself and others. I leave space for the magic of the universe to play in my life. I allow the unfolding. And that is pretty spectacular. You're no longer scared to be vulnerable. You're now trusting in the divine and being like, I will lose what is meant for me. I am following my gut. I am following whatever makes me happy. And you're such in a happier place now for doing that. Pure intentions. The theory of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desires with pure intentions and for the highest good of all. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're both knowing how much you're both guided towards each other. You both know what you want from this 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 relationship. What you want within each other. Wish wisely. Wow. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your true heart's desires and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true which I think you're doing. You're, you're both planning this route towards each other. You're, you're putting those wheels in motion to be able to come towards each other. To be able to show each other how much each other cares. And it's beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope this um, resonated. I hope this brought some clarity into your situation. I hope you're all doing okay. Thank you so much for your love and support on my channel for old and new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey. I'll see you next time, lovelies. Bye.